In this video, we will look at finding the least common denominator from several mo monomials. Again, we will use a similar process that we used with numbers, is that we will use all the factors with highest exponents. Let's take a look at some examples of monomials that we can find all the factors with highest exponents. In this problem, you notice we've got the numbers 5 and 4. You can tell quickly that 5 and 4 have a common denominator between them of 20. As for the variables, we will list out all the variables that appear and use the highest exponent on those variables. We see we have an x, and we have a y, and then x and y are repeats. On the x, we assign the highest exponent, which will be the 3. On the y, we assign the highest exponent, which would be a 5. The least common denominator, or least common multiple of 5x cubed y squared and 4x squared y to the 5th will be 20x cubed y to the 5th. Let's try another example where we can find the least common denominator of several monomials. In this problem, looking at the numbers 7 and 3, we can quickly see the least common denominator of those would be 21. As for the variables, we list all the variables, all the factors that showed up, a, b, and c. Notice in the second, the a and b are repeats. There is no need to list them again. We will simply use the highest exponent that shows up on each factor. On the factor a, the highest exponent was cubed. On a factor of b, the highest exponent is squared. On the factor c, the only exponent is the 1, and so we have our solution. Notice c was included in our least common denominator, or least common multiple, even though it did not appear in the last monomial. It is not necessary for the factors to appear in every factor, as long as they appear somewhere. 21a cubed b squared c is the least common multiple, or denominator, of 7ab squared c and 3a cubed b.